Today, we're gonna to take a look at how to edit audio within Final Cut Pro X. Now, I know there's other professional audio editing programs like um, Adobe Audition and Logic Pro X and even Audacity, I've used that in the past. Uh, but sometimes, if you're gonna use that, it, it's more time consuming because you have to bring in the audio into those programs, do the processing, export, bring it into Final Cut Pro X, and then sync the audio. Sometimes you don't have the time to do all of that. Um, especially if you're doing like vlogging and you already have your audio baked into the video, um, it's better to just edit the audio within Final Cut Pro X. Now, uh, within Final Cut, you, there's some um, cool plugins that you can apply to the audio and it will enhance your voice and make you sound louder. The reason you want to process your audio is because most people are looking at videos through their phone and sometimes they're out and about and there's a lot of ambient sound and you don't want that ambient sound to drown out your voice. Otherwise, people are just going to tune you out and they're going to skip your video. So you want to make sure your your voice is nice and loud and clear. Uh, let me just demonstrate what you're hearing right now is the process audio. What you're hearing now, this is the audio that has no processing. Let's switch back. As you can see, the audio that has been processed is much louder and much richer. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, anyways, without further ado, let's just get into it and show you some of the plugins within Final Cut Pro X. So now that you brought in your footage, and in my case, I recorded my Rode Video Mic Pro to my Zoom H1. Here's the audio clip and here's my video clip. This is what you just saw and how I did this. I selected the video clip and the audio clip, right click, synchronize clips. You get this right here. And this is what I brought into the timeline. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure we turn off the audio from the camera, which is this, the storyline. Uh, the connected is the Zoom H1. That's what we want in our audio clip. So now that we have that checked, this unchecked, we know that we're just getting the Zoom H1 audio. If we play this, you can tell that the audio is coming in around negative 16 uh, dB, which is not high enough. We want the audio to, to be somewhere around negative 6 or somewhere around this spot. We don't want it to clip either. We don't want to to go above zero. So we're gonna take a look at some of these um, plugins that we can apply to the audio to make it sound fuller and, and louder. So the first thing I do usually is I apply a channel EQ. Now, let me close this down. And what the channel EQ does, it get ri gets rid of some of those frequencies in our voice or in our audio that is not very pleasing. Also, it brings down the, if you have a high pitched voice, brings it down so your voice sounds richer and fuller. Um, I'm not gonna go over how to do channel EQ because I could do a whole tutorial, a whole video on just how to do this one single thing. And it's beyond my scope. I'm not an expert at this. So I'm just gonna show you the the very uh, general things I do to, to improve my voice. Anyways, this is, Generally, what I'm doing to the equalization, I'm bringing down the, I guess this is the low pass and this is a high pass filter. It just get rid, gets rid of those uh, frequencies that we can't really hear, so we can just get rid of them. Um, now, there's some hot spots around 400 hertz, 700 hertz, and 2000 hertz. When what I do, I just do some cuts. And usually what you want to do is you want to play your audio and bring up, boost up, these frequencies to to uh, so you can listen uh, where your your voice might sound too pitchy or you might be picking up some room noise or what these uh, cutting these frequencies what it does it cuts down on those frequencies that don't sound so good um, again go ahead and look at those tutorials because it, this is beyond my scope um, so that's the first thing you want to do with audio the second thing you want to do is apply a compressor What a compressor does, it normalizes our voice because we might get really loud and then our voice might come down. And what we want to do is apply a compressor so our voice sounds about the same. It doesn't matter if we speak loud or we bring down our voice, it will sound pretty equal. And the first thing I do is I, I bring up the attack to around 7 and the release around 100. This is a general good rule of thumb if you're 
uh, editing audio for video. So in the knee around 0.6, the ratio two to one is fine. Now, if we play our audio, you see now that I applied those, the channel EQ and the compressor, it's coming in around negative 10. Uh, what I can do is I can bring up the, the threshold. So it will start working around negative 16. And I can bring up the gain just to add more loudness to my voice, maybe four decibels, 3.5. Let's, let me see, let me play it. Oh, hold on. Now you see my voice is coming in around negative six. Um, so I can maybe let the compressor know that it can start working out around negative, well, negative 11. And it's barely working. So maybe I can bring this down even further uh, and bring up a little bit of the gain, maybe four decibels, 4.5. And you see this bar tells us that the that the compressor is working and it's reducing some of that uh, gain when my voice gets really loud. So that's basically what it's doing. It's bringing down my voice when it gets loud. So it equalizes with the... Uh, or normalizes with the low low points, okay? Okay, so this is basically what I do. Um, again, uh, with compressor, you can spend a, lot, uh, a year just learning about it. So this is a very basic. Uh, lastly, we, we want to apply an adaptive limiter. The adaptive limiter uh, prevents any peaking. So... We don't want the audio to go above zero because that would uh, distort the audio because we're peaking. So we want to create an out ceiling, meaning that if any audio is trying to go above zero, it will automatically bring it down uh, 0 0.9, I would say around 0 0.9 or one decibel. So nothing's going to go above uh, one decibel or negative one decibel. Now I can also add some gain here in this adaptive limiter. Let me play back the audio. See. I think that's pretty good right there. Um, I brought up the gain three decibels and the audio it's speaking around negative three. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into it because I said I want to keep this simple and I want to make this fast. And uh, if I were to give you specific details of how I do everything, it would take me hours just to explain it. And plus, I'm not an expert. I already said that. So uh, that's pretty much the the uh, the three plugins I use to enhance my audio. I know that you're going to have more questions and I'll try to answer them if you post them in the comment section. If you learn anything from, anything from this is that if you just do any minor tweak, it's better than not doing anything because you're going to get louder sound. It's going to be richer and fuller. Um, again, you, you're going to, I would expect that you're going to mess it up at the beginning, but uh, that's okay. That's how you learn. So Keep doing it and I just want to thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.